Welcome. My name is Maria Billings. I work for Oracle Server Technologies. In this video, we are comparing regular and mandatory realms. Realms existed with the Oracle Database 11G, and if you use object privileges or you're the object owner, then there was no realm control. That is different with mandatory realms. Realm authorization is always required in the sense that you have to be a participant or owner of the realm. Here you see that we are in SQL Plus connected as security administrator. We created a regular realm of the realm type 0. And then we add the employees table to this realm. Querying DVSys views, you see that the realm type is regular. Now I want to show access as the schema owner, HR. I enter a query and a row is displayed. Next I change the realm. I make it mandatory. That means I change the realm type to 1. I execute the query again against the DVSys views. And you see that the realm type is indeed mandatory. So. Next, I connect again as the HR schema user, and as expected, I get the insufficient privileges error. So now let's see what happens if the same table is protected by two realms of different types. Any guess? Here you see that we create again a regular realm, and we put the same table HR employees into this realm. We view the protected table and see that the employees table is one time in a mandatory and then also in a regular area. We connect again as schema owner and execute the query. And what do you think happens? As you probably expected, the most stringent protection takes precedence. Thanks for watching.